In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem using thermodynamic data to calculate K. In this problem, we are going to be calculating the equilibrium constant K using the equation delta G standard equals negative RT ln K. The problem is giving us the temperature uh, and the R is a constant. The delta G standard is uh, not given to us in the problem, but there's a hint right here that tells us that we can use data from the Alex data resource, which is this right here, which has all the delta G values in it. So we can use those delta G values and Hess's law to come up with the value of this overall delta G standard for the reaction. I have got this pulled up on another computer, which you can't see, obviously, but I am looking up the values of the delta G for the, all the reactants and products, and I'm going to be plugging them in and using Hess's law to calculate this. So remember that Hess's law, we take the delta G of all of the products and we subtract the delta G of all the reactants, products minus reactants multiplied by their coefficients. So I'm going to be starting with the delta G value for CCL4 gas. And it is CC there. We have to be really careful. There's a whole bunch of CCL4s in here. So the correct one is negative 64. The units are kilojoules. I'm going to write them at the end. And then from that, we are going to subtract the delta G value of all of our reactants. We have C solid, which is zero. And our other reactant, 2Cl2, and Cl2 is also 0. So this delta G value just works out to be negative 64. And again, those units are kilojoules. Uh, kilojoules per mole. So that is this term, this variable in the equation. The other variable that we have is the temperature. The problem is telling us that our temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, which is 298.15 in Kelvin. This needs, needs to be in units of Kelvin. So we're ready to plug into this problem and solve for the natural log of K. I'm going to begin by just rearranging the equation. Delta G standard is negative RT ln K. And if we rearrange that equation, we're going to get the natural log of K is equal to negative delta G standard over RT. And then we can go ahead and plug all of these values in. We have negative, negative 64 kilojoules per mole. That's the delta G value that was calculated using Hess's law. Divide that by the gas constant R, 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin, and also the temperature, 298 Kelvin. I'm going to leave off the 0.15 because I'm running out of room. Notice that we do have incompatibility with our energy units, joules versus kilojoules. So that's something that I'm going to fix before we actually do the math on this. I'm also going to get rid of this negative negative because we don't need that. And so what I'm going to do is to go from kilojoules to joules, we're just going to multiply by 1,000. So I'm going to change this to 64 times 10 to the third. And now it is joules instead of kilojoules. 64 times 10 to the third. So we are ready now to solve for the natural log of K. I'm just going to grab my calculator. 64 times 10 to the third divided by 8.3145 and divided by 298 gives me a natural log of K of 25.83. And to solve for K, we're just going to use the inverse natural log. So e to the 25.83 is going to give us the value of k. And I am getting one point, this says two sig figs, so 1.7 times 10 to the, my calculator didn't give it to me in exponential notation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 to the 11. 